Hello everyone, this is Dial 20 and welcome to episode 18 of Dial 20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I've uh, just got myself some GM chicken feed. Feed to chickens. Single use for a chicken creates a rotten egg. Wahahaha. Look at that little dinosaur picture. Um, so the plan for today is to get our mob farm fully up and running. Uh, between episodes, I killed a bunch of mobs and then stood on top of the singularity tank and got enough experience uh, to accumulate about four buckets worth of EXP. We're almost at another bucket. How nice is that, huh? So uh, the plan that we're going to do whoosh, is replace the singularity tank up here. Uh, it can stay as the XP drain one, so that if I want to drain experience in there, I can. But don't have to. We'll see. Um, and then we're going to get our GM chicken feed and get ourselves some cursed earth. So right now, we have had no mob spawns in there. It's probably because we're in range of the Mega Torch, right? I'm not in any way surprised by that. Um, I was hoping that we were outside the Mega Torch range, but I wasn't sure. So I'm going to say, based on the fact that we haven't had any mob spawns yet, it's probably the Mega Torch that's preventing it. But I'm pretty sure the GM Chicken Feed will override the Mega Torch and we'll still be able to do this. If not, I'll just silk touch up this stuff and move everything over one. Um, but we'll see what happens. So step one, Chicken Feed. Hello, chickens. Hello. I collected some between... Did I do that between episodes or on camera? I forget. But either way, I got some chickens, and uh, we're going to do the thing now, right? Sound cool? Uh, let's see. Who wants to be the evil chicken feeder? There you go. Oh my goodness, that was cool. What did we get? A rotten egg! Sweet. Alright, so, poor chicken. <laughs> poor chicken absolutely did not survive that process. Um... I don't know why I'm surprised. Why is there a grass block in my house? I think I think some Endermen were visiting. That's not even like, that's not even a little bit of a joke. That's 100%. I think an Enderman popped in and did that to me. Um, you can see all the junk in my chest. I need, I need another miscellaneous junk chest or a larger miscellaneous junk chest. Whichever. We'll figure that out. Um, let's try the rotten egg now, shall we? Oh my goodness, it's raining over here. That's the barrier of my rain shield, I guess. I guess that's the barrier of my rain shield. <laughs> All right, rotten egg time, right? So you're off. Oh, also what I did between episodes. Look at that. Huzzah. I've got uh, redstone dust set up on top of some lights in there. So we should be cool um, if I don't have any sticks on me, but I should. I usually do. But another lever. Should go a long way. I'd like to get rid of this rain if I can. Maybe I should make another rain shield for over there. I do like this leap spell. It's fun to use. Um, but if I put this lever here, that should turn the lights on. Oh my goodness. This is a bad time. Yep, I died. <laughs> is that three now? I feel like it's three. I feel like it's three. Maybe it's four. I oh, you know why? Because the lever with the lights turns on the fan. That's the opposite of helping. Oh my goodness, that's the opposite of helping. That is the... Okay, so that's... I want to say that's not my fault, but we know it's my fault. I should have thought that. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this to over... I'm going to put it, let's say... You ready? Yeah, let's run the redstone like this instead of like this. And just want to make sure that that's not too far... Yeah, redstone strength of five. Plenty. Plenty. That's a little safer, right? Yeah. And now, fan not on. Fan is on. Cool. All right, let's get ready to, to kick this thing off. But I want the rain to go away because it annoys me. I might make another rain shield. All right, luckily it was nighttime, so I got to sleep through the night. And then let's kill this. So, ready? GM chicken feed time. Let's do the... Five? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it on purpose. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, I really, really do. Let's 
It's not even a little bit on purpose. It's not even a little bit on purpose. It's not, honest. And look, any other YouTuber would be like, you know what, I'm gonna edit that out and not let them see the mistakes that I made. But Direwolf, he plays it real, yo. All right, so let's make lights off. And then apply that. Oh, hello, bad guys. Fan on, holy cow, that is some serious business. Now if I turn the lights on in there, Not, not quite great. I might want to give you one more. What's your area looking like? I might want you to go a little bit deeper. Yeah. Let's give you a depth upgrade if we can. Fan depth upgrade? Distance upgrade. Fan distance upgrade. Yeah, so it's redstone, iron, and feathers. I can do that. I'm thinking maybe two. Maybe two just to be like extra safe. Okay, so now my area pushes me all the way to the back of the room. All right, so let's try the lights off again. Mobs should spawn relatively quickly in there. And then I want the lights on, and then this. Are you guys quite wide enough? I might need a width upgrade. Yeah, I should probably give them both width upgrades too. So let's make two more width upgrades. I might need another feather. I absolutely need another feather. Feather attained. Alright, so two more width upgrades. See how much fun I'm having with this thing? It's the best. And then if we hide the area now, and then the same over here, by the way, I should, uh, I guess what I could do is just using a pick on this but it's not that deep cool and then the width upgrade can go here now if we show this area it should cover the entire including that cool so that should really be your best bet all right so turn you off hide the area turn off the lights get some mobs happening Lots of slimes. Creeper. Hello, Creeper. I see you. Weldon of some kind. And then you on. And yeah, look how fast everything's dying. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They are hard pressed to stay alive in there. Not bad. Not bad. All right. That works for me. Right? That looks good. I'm 100% down with that. And then we should be accumulating a bunch of junk in here. Wow, look how much stuff we got. I'm loving it. That's actually quite nice. So now we're going to have to ac uh, account for all the junk we have, right? We're going to absolutely have to handle that. I think it's time for some more logistics lasers. All right, <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with 16 storage drawer, functional storage dudes. Um, and we're probably going to want this, where should we have this all sit? Should we have it sit over here on the side? Does that sound like a cool place for it to sit? I feel like that's a neat place. Okay. Yeah, I like this plan. Uh, we'll, we'll fill this in, but like, what if we had, uh, essentially speaking, right? 
something like this. Now I'm curious how this drawer system works, but I have a feeling I can do something pretty neat with this. I want to try. Um, but one more thing I want to get before I try that. Uh, let's put away some stuffs we don't need. All right, so we've got the drawers. I'm going to link this guy, put you in multiple mode, and get all you guys linked. Does that sound cool? And then I'm going to take locking guy here and that. And these guys should all be locked. Beautiful. Cool. Now I can logistics or laser IO it. See, Dyer's, you know, it's his own mod and he still misses up the names. <coughs> it's not my fault. It used to be called logistics lasers. Now it's called laser IO. I changed it. Um, and we set up this. And what I'm going to do here is really quite simple. I'm going to bind you to this and that. Um, now, as we know, this doesn't need to be a straight line of lasers. I could absolutely, absolutely, unless this is a distance problem, do that. But I think that looks ugly, right? Like, I like the lasers being drawn correctly. So for the purposes of visuals, I'm doing it this way. But there's nothing stopping me from connecting these two nodes directly. Um, because there's no line of sight requirements, and there's no, you know, there's only a distance limitation. I think... This is probably on the upper end of the eight block limit, so if it were any further away, it might be a problem. All right, so here's my plan. I'm going to set up this guy with an extract card. So you're just gonna extract. I should probably bump this up, but we'll see what we can do. So stick that guy in there. Now, nothing should be happening. And then over here, we do an insert card. And that should be easy peasy. And again, nothing should be happening. And also I fixed the bug with the storage drawers thing, right? So now I'm gonna take slime balls, this, 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 these things, and we're gonna stage the drawers like we did last time, right? Um, so I don't think it super matters. Oh, that's right, drawers are weird about that. Um, you know what I could do? I could just unlock it. I could just unlock it, couldn't I? And then it would stage. In theory. Hey, yeah, look at that. Sweet. That's cool. All right, let me get some overclockers. But in theory, that should all work. Right? It should be cool. I guess we'll see. Uh, so I want some overclockers. Do I still have some stuff on me? I do. So I think I just need gold for that and maybe some redstone. So four is enough to get a stack uh, at a per tick. Boom, boom, boom. How cool is that? All right, so that looks not terrible, actually. That looks really good. I like that. Oh, look at that, zombie arms don't render in the drawers. That's funny. I'm like, hey, why is there a number one there? No, oh, that's cool, that's a thing. All right, so what do you guys say we turn this mob farm back on and we see what kind of new stuff shows up? Now, they're definitely not blowing quite as hard as I had hoped they would. Like, they eventually die, so that's good at least. I was going for, like, insta-death, right? And spiders are always going to be a challenge. But they'll die eventually, see? Nice. All right, cool. Look at this. Mob drops ahoy. That's cool. Now, as long as we don't double up anything over here, I'm cool. We haven't doubled anything up, right? Yeah, so far, so good. The only thing that's wonky is the rendering on the zombie arms. But that's, you know, it is what it is. Um... Sweet, look at that, leather pants, protection too. Look at all the good stuff we're getting too. Look at this, it's just flooding in. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on this for a few minutes, be right back. Well, I'll tell you one thing, we will never want for slime balls again. I mean, I don't think we'll ever want for most of the stuff again, but like slime balls, holy cow, that's a lot. I'm gonna have to get some void upgrades in this thing pronto. And the other note that I want to make is that I think last time I played with this stuff, like turning on the lights burned up the, the ground. Is that right? Was that this mod that it did that to? And it's not anymore, and that's awesome. Um, so hey, here's some of the things we're probably going to have to void. 
or maybe handle. But one thing I want to do is absolutely lock these drawers now um, and get them locked in. And that should be cool. And then what I'm going to do, get a few more drawers to handle some of the other loots that are dropping. I'm going to probably leave this thing on, to be honest with you. Um, and just let mobs happen. But I definitely can't forget to void upgrade because oh, this is fast. This is faster than I anticipated it to be. So void upgrades is going to have to be a priority for me right now. What I think I need to do is go mine some more obsidian. Or maybe find a good way to get some obsidian. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Is there any cool obsidian-y, machine-y type stuff? Uh, so that's... Okay, but that's going to be a hassle to make. We're not going to do that. That doesn't seem like a good way to go. No, because that's blaze rods. Okay, so there's a 75% chance to get your obsidian back, and then I can... That's a pain. Okay. That seems like a pain. Magma blocks. That might be a fun fire essence, huh? Maybe. I'm just looking for like, hey, that seems like a full, fun, different way to do it. I mean, we could always do something like this, um, but you know, because we do have infinite lava and blast chiller is a thing, right? We'll see. All right, little bits of mining later and I got eh, not as much of that stuff as I would have hoped, but meh, meh, nonetheless, not too bad. Uh, what we want to get now is a bunch of void upgrades. I got three stacks, so that's pretty good. Hey, did any trees go uh, and grow while I was up there? Not really. Bummer. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to plan for is voiding some of this junk that we probably don't need, like bows and leather pants and potions of leaping. Like, I don't think I need to keep any of this. The redstone I'm even hesitant to keep, but, like, maybe? So here's my thoughts, right? Like, maybe redstone I'll keep. Um, so here's what I want to do. I want to put these guys here, okay? I'll stage one of these with redstone. And I also have one, two, three, four, five. Cool, now you're all void upgrade -y. How do I open up, there we go. Utility upgrade, nice, all right. So in theory, excess will be voided, right? Yes, cool. Um, so with that set up now, let's have, let's have a really big chest that can act as our overflow chest here. So I would like something gold or diamond-ish. Do we have any of those? We have a gold hanging out. Um, do I want to throw two diamonds at you? I mean, I guess I could, right? Yeah, why not? Okay, and what I'd like to do is have this be the higher priority. So we'll make him priority 10. And then this, um, we can throw an insert card with a lower priority. And now everything goes into there. Cool. Uh, we should also not forget that you and you need to happen. So you're already bound to this. So let's set you to single mode now so I can add you. Okay. And then you uh, can also get locked for all these guys. Now I'm going to turn this on. Okay. And that looks cool. Okay, good deal, good deal. Now what'll happen is all the items in this chest will always get extracted immediately. If they fit in the drawers, they go into the drawers. If they don't fit in the drawers, they're gonna go into here. How cool is that? And get populated. And then eventually we'll set up a voiding system. What I wanna do is make sure I've figured out all the items that drop from mobs potentially that I care about. And then I'll probably just turn this chest into a trash can and it'll just void anything that doesn't fit, right? Um, and then we'll be good. That sounds like a good plan. I think we have a fully functional mob farm at this point, right? How are we for experience, by the way? Because, ooh, yeah, now we're talking. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I always forget the carry on mod is a thing. Um, but we can throw an EXP tap here now, just by doing that, and then turn it on. Experience! How cool is that? I love it. And then we turn it off, and more experience will accumulate. And if I say, hey, I want to store this back in here, not a problem. We can drain all that experience out of our player, and this, for the time being, can be a nice experience, dude, right? But what I'd like to do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to get my Insightful Crystal. So let's get a um, 250 millibuckets of this in a fluid encapsulator. It will make bottles of experience for me, right? So if I got a bucket's worth, huzzah, and then we put this into a fluid encapsulator, we should be good to make stuff happen. And if we also wanted to, we could probably mute some mob sounds near here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the sound muffler. Uh, let's take a look at that guy, this thing. So this thing is super cool. You can super configure what sounds you don't want to hear. Um, the default screen that you open up are going to be muting sounds everywhere you go. So wherever you're at, um, you, will, you will never hear these sounds or lower the volume of them. However, if you want it to be specific to an area, you can choose one of these nine numbers. So I'm going to start with number one here and set the anchor. And this is the current position in the world. I'm going to edit this to about an eight block radius. And the goal here is I'm going to mute mob sounds around this area. The smartest way to do this would probably be doing it from inside the room. So maybe I'm going to cancel and um, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to turn on the light and turn off this thing. Is that cool? Is that smart? And I probably wouldn't mind claiming these chunks with FTB. We should probably set that up, including my house, by the way. Yeah, good idea. And then we could even force chunk loading here so that the mob star farm keeps happening. Now, I was not entirely smart, but I was smart enough, but not that smart, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, technically, you're inside this chunk. Good. Okay, so all this stuff lives inside the chunk. Um, this chunk needs to be loaded in addition to this one, though. So we should add this chunk to the loader. You really want to, when you're, when you're looking at chunk loading, you want to limit the amount of chunks that you have to load um, because that just contributes to lag in your game, server-side lag. And if you're on a multiplayer server, far worse, right? Um, so let's sneak in here. And I'm just going to stand right in the center of this room. And turn on the muffler. So um, I should have looked at the chunk boundaries before I built this thing, but it's not that bad, so we'll be all right. At least it's not on a chunk corner and I have to load four of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition this, set anchor. Um, can I delete the anchor? I don't know, actually. But is that where I'm at right now? 77, 96, 85. Cool. And the radius will be, let's say, seven blocks. So within a seven block radius, we're going to mute all the following sounds. Um, we're going to mute some hurt sounds. So entity creeper hurt, muted. Entity enderman hurt, muted. Hostile hurt, muted. Sheep, shulker. Oh, yeah, I did hear a shulker ball recently. Um, silverfish. I, I don't think we have too many slimes we want to get rid of. Spider, witch, zombie, zombie villager. And then I think it's called death. Is that right? Yes, creeper death, hostile death, silverfish, skeleton death, slime death, zombie death. I don't want to hear these sounds, right? And then what I can do is leave the room. And now when mobs suddenly silence. So any sounds that originate inside that area will not play for me and I don't hear them. Isn't that cool? Now there might be a few that I missed. I'm sure there are, but I'll just you know, add them to the to the filter in a bit. Okay, cool. So now how are you doing, sir? You've got a bunch of stuff. Wow, somebody's dropping TNT, some nice enchanted leather, a bunch of other stuff that I don't super need. So, so far, nothing in here do I want to add. Um, the dimlets might be nice to save for when we get into RF Tools Dimensions, but we'll get there when we get there. Fair? So I'm going to let that run. And because it's chunk loaded, I don't need to stand near it anymore. It'll keep running no matter what. And uh, let's make an insightful crystal. Does that sound cool? We're going to need a fluid encapsulator, though. And boy, do I have enough iron. Uh, it's a question. I don't know. We are getting low on iron, as indicated by the fact that I only have 11 iron in this chest. So let's hope. Uh, but I suspect that might be really cutting it close. Uh, so for a fluid encapsulator, we're going to need some copper and some redstone. And then we should be pretty close to cool. So I'm going to need a little bit of nuggets. So close. So close to being a problem. The nice thing is, is the drawer system downstairs will like recombine nuggets into ingots for me. So even though I have eight nuggets in here, if there's even one nugget in the drawers downstairs, we'll be, you know, good to go. And then finally this, and then a fluid encapsulator, which will be nice. Okay, I'm gonna add this over here. I really need a magnet too. We should look at, we should look at a magnet. I would like a magnet. What do we got by way of magnets? We've got Batania magnets. We've got simple magnets, uh, five and 11 blocks away. Items can be filtered. Oh, that's neat. Uh, we've got the Fluxo magnet from Thermal. That's pretty fun times. Um, so yeah, some options for magnets for sure. We'll have to figure out which one I want to get eventually. I mean, simple magnets sounds simple, but we'll see. Uh, so what was I doing? 
Uh, I was getting one of these. That's right. I'm like, why am I in this chest? I started talking and then I forgot everything I was doing. Welcome to Dyer's Let's Play, where that's going to happen a lot. Trust me. So fluid encapsulator, getting power. Fluid encapsulator, getting fluids. Excellent. Now, bottles of enchanting, please. One, two, three, four. Nice. And we can use this to get a thing that I've been wanting for a little bit, uh, which does need emeralds. Okay. Uh, and a little lapis. But the nice thing about this insightful crystal is it can hold experience for you. So even though we already have kind of an experience tank, this is far more convenient. Just check out what this can do, right? I'm going to absorb all the experience. Actually, I should probably leave that there because I might need to get up there at some point. But I'm going to absorb all the experience from this tank. Okay. Now, if I die, I'm in trouble. I lose most of it. But not if I store it in my insightful crystal by holding right click. Every time you right click, it'll add one level of experience to the insightful crystal and it'll stay in there until I hold shift right click and click and it'll give it back to me. How cool is that? It's the best. It's 100% a cool thing to have, right? Uh, and you can also set it to auto collect mode. So if I hit V here, um, now all the experience I collect, even if it's not on my hotbar, I think, we'll find out if that's true, will go into the insightful crystal rather than into my inventory. How cool is that? So now, like, my player will never absorb experience. The insightful crystal will, right? And every time it absorbs experience, um, it just it just has more for it, for me to take out later. And then we don't have to worry about dying, among other things. Isn't that great? What else can I use bottles of enchanting for? Ooh, experience pump upgrade. I don't know what these things are, but they sound cool. Deals no damage. Used to test an archer skill. Make each shot more difficult. Okie dokie, Smokey. Yeah, that's... I mean, there's some other things for sure that we can use, but that's that's pretty darn close to cool. All right, I'm going to turn this off so that... Don't forget to turn this off because, yeah, you don't want the experience orbs dropping into the world constantly if you're not standing there. Sweet. So now we have EXP for days. Well, sort of. Close. Close to EXP for days. But having this insightful crystal will make experience collection so much easier that we will be able to enchant some really cool stuff in the near future. All right, so I think that's a pretty good place to, to wrap this thing up at. Let's go see, now that you know a few minutes have gone by, how we're doing over here. So we should have a bunch more stuff, indicated especially by the fact that we're almost full on slime balls and about to be voiding them. But yeah, this has been running for long enough. And, oh boy, we got a lot more stuff in here. Anything we care about? Like, glowstone might be nice to accumulate, right? Like, why would I void glowstone? But nothing else is particularly... Like, I see the iron. It's such a small amount of iron, I'm not going to waste my time with it. Once we get a proper quarry up, I think that would be a good time to... Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't want to... You don't want to do the thing. Let's turn on the lights for a sec. Uh, yeah, where's the lock? And then lock him again. Perfect. And then lights out. All right. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, we'll come back next time and be ready to do something new. So uh, we might set up a passive mob farm. So basically something very similar, but with passive mobs. How did this get removed? What did... What happened there? Did an Enderman do that? Can Enderman take fence posts? What in the what? There's definitely a piece of grass missing, too. That wasn't me, was it? Did I do that? I don't think so. I would have noticed if I did that, right? Anyway, wrapping up point for the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Dowel 20 signing off. We'll come back next time. Um, and what we'll do um, is something new. Because we've got this part pretty much done. So let's come up with a new plan for next episode. For now, take it easy.